I'm Josh Britz, and this is your sports update. We start things with a game that was never really close. The football team took on the Earth Sky and Flying Fleet this past Saturday. We start things off with the fumble on the handoff with defensive lineman Ian Ray scooping it up for the 17-yard touchdown run to give the Wasp a 21-7 lead. Early into the fourth quarter, Erskine handed the ball off for a touchdown to make this one a little bit closer with a score of 49 to 14. The Wasp responds quickly with Mudder throwing it deep to freshman wideout Tristan Stitt for the, his first ever collegiate touchdown. This game was never really close with the Wasp dominating the flying fleet with a final score of 56 to 14 with a lot of freshmen getting playing time. Now, on the court, the volleyball team took on Newberry Monday for a 3-1 win. The volleyball team plays again on Wednesday when they take on Lenore Rhine and are back home on Friday for their last game of the season against Wingate. The men's wrestling team placed third in the JMU Invitational this past Sunday and are back in action tomorrow night versus UNC Pembroke in the King Center. The 24th ranked women's wrestling team takes on Bluefield State in Southern Virginia this Thursday in the King Center. Finally, we're officially in basketball season with the men's basketball team playing in the SAC Conference Carolinas Challenge when they take on Francis Marion on Saturday. The women's basketball team takes on Southern Westland for, the SAC, for their SAC Conference Carolinas Challenge at Belmont, North Carolina on Friday. For more information, go to www.gowasp.com. I'm Josh Britz, and that was your sports update.